it, it used to be a speed bag. We put sand in there. This is this help you for uh, uh, defense and block other punches coming in a different direction. Mark can show you the demonstration right now. Go ahead, Mark. That give you reflex movement, legs, head movement, weights, you know, everything. So I put sand in there because it's um uh, it's more um heavier, faster than the regular ones. This one. And this one right here, made out of baseball, homemade. Um this one is uh they give you accuracy and speed. This one right here. This little ball right here. Um, nobody gonna move faster than this little thing right here. And nobody gonna have a head smaller like this. So if you can hit this, you can hit anybody. That's how Mark, you know, becomes so successful for um, things. Um, homemade. Pretty much. We have the bunch of bag right there. We put it down because we want to bring the ceiling down. So we put it right there when we use it. We hardly use it. You don't hear heavy bags. That's a water bag, but uh, he hardly use it because I believe because uh, the bag what it does it kill your shoulders, your back, but you don't learn much. When you do shadow boxing, you learn more because you're out fighting with your shadow. You're right there, moving. You're not killing your hands. You're working your mind, feet, and hands at the same time. I like to go to the Olympics in 2020. Represent Team USA for. The Olympic Games in Japan and win the gold medal there and after that probably uh, most likely turn pro and I don't know what promotion yet. I'm looking forward to it because uh, I haven't, the, uh, my last tournament in January from when I came back from Russia, there was not, there was only 15, 16 and 15, 16, 17, 18. Now at this tournament there's going to be like little kids, like more, more people coming and more people watching and the fight to get more exciting.